Welcome, welcome. I'm Dee, and this is a single mom and guided life where I try to navigate through finances, motherhood, being single, and everything in between. And I bring you guys along for the journey to hold me accountable. So this is my monthly spread setup. This is what I'll be attempting to do. This is my first time using stickers for the layouts. We'll see how I go for month to month. I won't be doing this on camera all the time. I just wanted to just give you guys a sneak peek. So these stickers are that I'm going to be using comes from Life in Envelopes um, here on YouTube. Check out our channel. Check out our Etsy shop. She has a lot of sticker sets, monthly budget kits, you know, weekly planning kits that can help you with your day to day if you do love stickers. So within the package that I received, it had a sampler page. As you can see, there's already some missing items because I had to see if I can actually use these stickers. And I uh, like the little sampler she gave. The next thing I purchased was the monthly extra large stickers. And I was gonna use this for, because this is an undated planner. Therefore, it does not have the month. So I was gonna use this, but this is actually a little bit too big for the section so at the that I I'm assuming so if it does not work out <laughs> I will be using this for my monthly budget review heading the next thing that I did pick up and excuse me the stickers are all over the place because I had to try them out was the this is actually the seven by nine monthly kit now what I found is that this thick washi is actually a little bit too thick for my planner but i do have something that i'm going to attempt to try that i'm going to show you to see if this will work out it comes with thin washies it has four functional boxes i guess they are functional well i'm assuming functional is the ones who are blank but they have these boxes here and i've lost one this is the one i was trying out after a while of me keep taking off, putting it back on. I guess it got tired of me and disappeared. And it does come with some uh, days of the week. So when I looked in, um, looked at this and tried this, these are actually a little bit small for my monthly. So I'm gonna use this on the weekly, as well as um, I'm gonna use, if this worked out, what I'm gonna attempt to do shortly, it's getting a call, it's gonna come back through. I don't know how that, Maybe I need to set it where it, that doesn't disturb everything. But if this works out, I'll use these stickers. Or I may use these stickers because these are a little bit bigger than them. Yeah, so I may use these stickers instead of these. But this is one thing I picked up. The next thing that I picked up is the um, full box kit. And it's the Midnight Garden theme. And this will be for my weekly planning. Let's go here it's all out of sorts here's another full box kit pretty pastels and I got two of those and I like it that it has a little weekend here so I got two of those I also got four sheets of the film the edit and the upload so let's go ahead and we're going to first go to January and so as stated and let me bring you out some hope you guys can see that as you can see I already put the date dots here and my monthly budget is going to go from January 1st to January 28th and I just feel like that's wrong too hmm. why do I feel like that's wrong maybe it's not wrong Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's how it's going to go to the 28th, so we're good to go. And I already put the stickers on, and like I said, that it was a little struggle, but my nails are a little bit long. I got some that's broken, well, I cut lower because they were chipped on the side, so I went ahead and cut them off. But you can see some got into there perfectly, and others kind of a little crooked, crooked, but we're good to go. So, as stated, I'm going to use this and attempt to do something. Now, what I decided to do is I'm going to turn this around let's see let's turn it upside down 
And I'm going to turn this upside down and I'm going to attempt to put it here. I'm going to get it as close as I can. Okay, so now you can see, and I'm going to flip it over so you can see, it's a little overage, which that's, I told you it was a little bit bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold it over here. Okay, let's see. So that's where we at with that. Okay. So then I'm going to take the next one. I'm going to do the same. Jennifer, girl, I don't know how you do this, but here I go, the struggle bus. So this is what happened. So when I started to attach the second thick washi, someone kept calling me, which was causing me to move my hand, and it caused the thick washi to curl. If and at first I was like, you know what, I'm just going to rip it off and keep it moving. But I decided to go ahead with it because I remember I had the extra large months. So I placed that on and kept it moving. Also, I decided to take one of the weeks and glue them together because I only needed five weeks and it's actually six weeks. And then for some reason, the January just kept coming off. And then I had to look at it again and make sure to re-glue and adhere it again. Additionally, I have the mid liners. That's what y'all want to call them, but they say mild. But y'all calling me it, so I'm joining the party. And I use that to actually put in the date because the date they are not listed because it's undated. So I don't have that shadow. After that, I remembered I had to put the days of the week. And unfortunately, because placing the days of the week, I had to remove the month and the ugly spot had reappeared. I still don't know what I'm going to do with it, but okay, we just going to you know, figure it out and keep it moving. So this is how the month layout is going to look at this current time. So now what I'm doing is going in and putting in the bills, the amount of the bill and when it's due. I always start off with my monthly layout because I want to know what bill is due in each week. So I know what amount should be leaving out of my account from week to week. Additionally, what I'm doing is listing my paydays because I want to know exactly when I'm going to get paid within my monthly budget as well. Okay, so now it's time to do my January monthly budget overview. I have pre-filled as much as I can. Again, my hand is freaking hurting. Um, but I additionally forgot to add a goal that I'm going to add into my planner when I'm done with this but my financial goals is to put 500 towards my dad put 500 plus towards emergency fund bring a thousand plus in from side income I know this sound backwards but we good to go we, we'll figure it out <laughs> yeah I get the gist so I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the due dates I normally just fill out the actual date and not the month and year I mean excuse me the month end day because we're working in January all this is going to be done in January. So what I'm doing is just transferring all of the information from my monthly view to my monthly budget review underneath the expense tracker with the corresponding day and amount of the bill. All right, so let's talk about this. So we already discussed that internet was going up, streaming was going up, election was going up. Credit card number one is I put the tires on the credit cards to get the points and so i decided to go ahead and i would pan this out for the the bill that's due so the funds are available for me to do that but because i use the credit card and i do have that insurance that covers me in case of loss of income they charge a percentage on your balance and add that to your credit card and that's where the extra came from so i think it's like 428 and some change for the tires and then they added on their little bit less than four dollars um the cable is high because i added a premium channel there's actually one more episode and then i'll be able to cancel that i really don't want to because it is a few shows that will be premiering soon that i want to watch but i figured out i would figure it out so soon probably next month like it the month before this would actually be decreased 
significantly because I'm going to get a credit for canceling within a time um, within the billing cycle. Um, my phone bill already went up. Also, has a new purchase, a new bill that I would will be doing each month because I just feel like it's necessary for what I've been doing and I had an incident before I just don't want to have it going forward my insurance I had it at 135.30 um, and I wasn't for sure if that was going to be the right amount um, and it wasn't it's was actually less so it's 134 so I actually decreased a little bit more than I thought not significant and that's only because when my auto goes down my renters goes up because just like everybody else's is you don't have to have any claims on either one of those policies but you're paying essentially for the area that you live in and if they find that the area that you live in there's a whole bunch of claims you're helping your neighbor and the way to help your neighbor is to pay your bill um <laughs> the car note is going to be for february when i make that payment in january because i already made january payment this month Giving is going to be a total of $334.23. I'll be canceling the Weight Watchers, so it's $39.95. A medical bill balance of $266.61 needs to be paid. I received another bill of $54.40 that needs to be paid, and the property tax of $565 needs to be paid. So we're going to go ahead and add all of this up to see what the total is. All right, so. That's the total. I don't know why I thought it was something different. I may have actually <laughs> added something twice the last time I calculated this, but that's where we at. Let me tell y'all how awesome God has been to me and my household. I know we may not share the same ideologies and that's totally fine. I would never push my beliefs onto others, but I share my experiences and I am a living testimony. So as I am cleaning out my budget binder, which has my budgets for the year, I became overwhelmed because every single month there was a completed budget. And though I have not reached any major financial milestones, I reached a milestone that not so many people talk about, and that's being consistent. When you are consistent with budgeting, you are more likely to be set up to be successful. Therefore, I just knew that this was something that I was going to struggle with because I've struggled with it in the past. I start off strong, mid-year I waver off, and by the end of the year it's straight chaos. But this year, I was able to consistently budget every single month, and that was major to me. So I was so optimistic, I decided to go ahead and pre-plan my January budget. And I wrote down all of the expenses, tally them up. I wrote down all of the income, tally that up. And I discovered that I did not have enough money to pay these expenses. And I became sad. I put on a happy face and kept it pushing. And if you watch my side gig vlog, Towards the end of the that video, you can see that I became like ill. Though I smiled and giggled, <laughs> laughed it off, I was my body was literally attacking me. I had an acid reflux flare up. It went on on Sunday, then on Monday it became progressively worse. On Tuesday, I woke up. I said, "Nope, not today," and I started doing my home remedies and so on and so forth. And then I started to attack the root cause of this flare-up, which was the stress that was being caused because of me not having enough income. That's when I discovered that I would be able to use my side income that I was generating in December to be applied to the incoming medical bills and the cancellation fee. So I didn't have to pull out my budget. Later on that day, I went to the mailbox, discovered our new medical insurance cards i put that in our in my wallet and i also discovered I, my child support card now after i pulled it out with the cop was and all because i do not check this often because it's the support is inconsistent 
but I decided to go ahead and do that um, check it because it's the end of the year and I just want to make sure I did not have to get a new car because this card is not used often so I didn't remember the login for the card issuer but I decided just to log into the state website and the state website said, hey, we haven't seen you since September. And I'm like, right, because the last time anything came was July. So there was no reason for me to keep checking if it didn't come two months in a row. Finally, I found the section where it shows the payments. And I received a payment on October 9th. It is December 29th, y'all. <laughs> and I am just, you know, receiving notification that there was a payment and with the side income and that support my needs and my wants will be met for january 2021 y'all come on now he is so good and i could not miss this opportunity to tell you about to write down what i'm going to receive so first and then i can break everything out so for paycheck i always do the standard of my 1600 that's wrong and then my stipend which is 142.29 so it's three thousand three hundred forty two dollars and 29 cent that i should be receiving from paycheck my rollover is going to be 715 for the savings slash sinking fund it would be 43830 and the bonus gotta add that would be 66096 let's add that all up and that is $5,100 $56.55. Okay, now we can move over to here. <laughs> so, now that we're there, so by the first check, I should receive my regular paycheck for my job, my stipend. I will be ha I will have my rollover. The pulling from the sinking fund and the bonus income of $660.96. So $3,556.55 I should receive by the first paycheck. So what bills do I need to pay in the first paycheck? That's all what we be paying the first check. So let's see what we have remaining after you pay each of those expenses. And then we'll talk about the sinking funds in the um, envelope system. Okay. So I actually crossed out the phone bill because it's not going to be pulled out of this paycheck because it's not due until the second paycheck. So my bad, my bad shorties. So as you can see, I have no more room left. So I'm going to condense. So for the envelope system, I am going to actually send a total of $3.95. And then for the seeking funds, I am actually going to send three hundred and twenty-seven dollars. So let's see. We have one zero four two four nine three two seven. 
Phillies was $715.49. This is the first paycheck. So let's go ahead and let's start talking about the second paycheck. So by the second paycheck, which is going to be on the 15th, I am going to have the $715.49 plus the $1,600 for the base pay. So that's going to be $2,315.49. And the bills that I am going to pay. And then we have no further miscellaneous that going to be listed here. So we're good to go with that. So let's see what we have after that. $1,542.66. Cents. So then we're going to work our way over to our envelope system and it's going to be the same amount plan of 395 and then our sinking funds it's going to be 315 so 395 so that's one thousand one hundred forty seven dollars and fifty six cents I'm going to minus 315, so at least $832.56. Okay. So we're going to go over, over here. And we had $715.49 was left from paycheck number one. We included that into paycheck number two, so I left a remaining balance of $832.56. $830.56. So my plan for the $832.56 is $715 will be the check in buffer. And then that leaves $117.56. And that is going to actually be the what I'll be sending to savings. Okay, which is not much and it's definitely not gonna help me reach my goal, but that's where my site income comes into play. So this is the breakdown of my January paycheck budget. So let's go ahead and calculate the rest of this. So for the envelope system, it's $395 and $395. So that's $790. For the sinking funds, it's $327 and $315. So that's $642. Savings will be $117.56. I will be sending nothing to extra debt. And so my check and buffer is $715. So the total income is $5,100. $56.55. Let's see if I told all that money where to go, but I feel like I have not. But we will see. Oh, we did. Look at that. We told all our money where to go. There we go. So that's my zero base budget. If you're new to my channel and you love to be part of my village, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. To all my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you can and you want to, go ahead and leave a comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions. This is a new process for me. I'm not new to budget, just new to a process and just incorporating. It did feel like it was the first, very first time, I promise. <laughs> and everyone hit that like button. Y'all let us know I'm here. And please share this with your family, your friends, and your co-workers. Peace out.